Hi, hi, friends. It's Yvonne. Hey, I'm at Nordstrom's because it's clear the rack. This is a Nordstrom rack store, you know, where they put like their clearance stuff. And so they're having 25% off and an extra 75% off on certain items. So this is just something I do, retail arbitrage by you guys. And uh, we'll talk about a few things here. Okay, so like there's discount department stores, right? Like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, etc., Burlington. And so this is kind of like a discount department store. Nordstrom's is a little bit higher end, just under like Neiman Marcus and Saks. Not quite, but along those lines. And so Nordstrom Rack is like their discount version, okay? So this the stuff that didn't sell or maybe some closeouts that they bought come here, okay? So that's the distinction. All right, so I am going to look at this Levi Rack, but... Um, you know I'm picking clothing back up again pretty hard and Free People is one of the brands it's from Urban Outfitters they also own Anthropology yeah they own the anthropology stores that are very trendy um, there are some different Free Peoples there's We the Free there's um, the Intimate line and there's Free People Movement I found that, that Henley top that I found the other day Sometimes they have these little metal tags. You'll see some copycats. It's called Poof, a little bit bigger metal tag. That's a fast fashion copycat that tries to copy free people. Um, okay, so even though this is discount, right? Wait a minute, there's an intimate, yeah. And this is an intimately free people tag. Um, you can see, even at the discount, like that's $24 for this little bodysuit garment well, let's get a regular free people okay so this is a mesh top even at the discount it's $34.99 this is really pretty different tag and even on sale $89.90 $90 almost so this is why that's a good brand to look for at the thrift stores and Okay, so this is why it's one of the brands that I look for, of course. And, but just like anything else, just because it says a free people doesn't mean it was a good item. It might have just been something no one wanted. You know, it might have been a mistake, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I just found one of these movements. That's the tag for that. Mine's a little prettier, though. It's striped. Well, Henley. Henley's kind of like a thermal shirt, if you will. They also often they will often be ribbed like this one or waffle. Not always though, but the Henley is when it's this, okay, with a little button or snap up. So I'll probably check their back rack, you know, for anything that might be free people on the clearance. That behind me is not really workable yet. That was just looking for personal use, right? Lots of women's Levi's. Let me see what they priced their Levi's at. These are 501's. Can't see a price anywhere. Okay. Even a little bit on sale, $70. That's pretty much a straight up price. You go to JC Penney's and they're about 50 to 80. High rise slim straight. That's still trending. So, you know, this won't really be workable for resale, in it? That might be $49.99 because then I think you get some more off of this according to their sale. And this is a good place to learn some of the designers. Abound. Not bad. This is a good one. If you find it. So those are some of the things that you kind of want to do. Oh, look at this little 80s, 90s repop. I already got me at the thrift store a purple t-shirt made out of this 80s, 90s fabric. How much is that? Under 35 so that's affordable. $30. Alright, let's see. So I see Lush. 
that's a pretty decent brand you know just moderate price we're not talking about like celebrity high-end style you know <laughs> but you know that's middle class <laughs> so a little above fast fashion it's a cute little vest I see cut from the cloth I thought that had waned I'll double check that I see democracy okay Joe's jeans are good Joe's jeans have a good fit and I'm glad to see Paige is still good Paige has an excellent fit too my daughter loves this brand and they do longer lengths too for us tall girls see how some of those are longer same with Joe's jeans if you're a tall girl see how some of them are very long so I'm like a 34 36 inseam <laughs> so there's that oh and by naked I don't do animal print personally. That's a pretty good price. Yeah. So there's another brand. And by Naked. Calson. I remember that. Caslon. Vaguely familiar with that. Hudson. Ooh. Love me some Hudson jeans too. They also will do longer lengths for us tall girls. We've got Citizens of Humanity. I didn't know that was still trending. That's good to know. Lucky brand, typically sold at the buckle. That's pretty popular. Oh, look, and Madewell. Typically, these are sold at the, their mall store. That's a, this is a popular collegiate brand, let me tell you, Madewell. Not super high end, but it's just known for comfort and quality. And there's some more. All right, I'm going to go back to the sale rack. Okay, so I made it back to the cell rack. I'm just kind of looking at medium, large, my size, okay? Um, but just teaching moments, okay? Like I said, see what brands are still popping. I think I've heard of that brand, Veronica Beard. There's manufacturer retail price on that. And this brand I know is good. That brand right there, if you ever get lucky enough to see it at the thrift store, maybe a consignment shop more likely. This is definitely higher end. Six ninety five. Now it's on sale for one thirty nine after several markdowns at Nordstrom. Because well, okay, again, remember, some styles just didn't perform as well, you know, in whatever line. The quality of fabric is just so much better. So those of you who say, well, how, when you talk about quality of fabric, what are you talking about, Yvonne? Well, I don't know. Come to like Nordstrom's or you could even just do a Nordstrom's rack like I'm doing. Or go to Neiman's or Saks or something and just browse around and feel the fabrics and the quality versus, you know, the fast fashion. I also saw an All Saints over in the small. I sell some of this when I find it. Theory is a good brand. You know, these are brands, you know, I don't live in an area with a lot of celebrities. I mean, 161, yeah. That's sale price. I mean, you know, there are some that own, like, you know, up in the ski resorts, you know. <laughs> they have some things, but typically they don't really, like, live, live here. So, you know, this is moderately priced stuff for the middle to upper middle class some of these names this brand is consistent normally I only find exclusively Misuk and it's very well known mix and match pieces quality fabric kinda like a middle class version of St. John a more affordable version of St. John her special fabric kinda cool artsy you can see the price even markdown, 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 $215. Long dresses. There's probably some winners in there. Formal dresses. Let's see, let's see what names we might have. BB. That's a more affordable brand. It's popular though. You'll see it in a lot of fashion magazines with like celebrity style kind of, you know, um, let's see, socialite. Yeah, socialite. That's the kind of the better word I'm looking for. Kind of a s affordable socialite brand if you'll kind of catch my drift on that. 
might take a peek at men's too. It's probably some Robert Graham over there. I'm curious to see how Robert Graham is doing. It's been a few years. But wait, I caught this out of the corner of my eye. Eileen Fisher is still good. Sold at Dillard's and places like that, plus some higher end boutiques and of course the better stores as well. It's a more affordable, you know, label. Lots of legging look, the layered look. And you can kind of date, which is common with a lot of companies. They change their labels or their fonts every once in a while. You can kind of date it by, you know, the label. I almost missed these because they were in 24, but as I'm walking back from shoes, I just noticed the length and the cool 60s, 70s tapestry fabric. I am like about to cry. This is way out of my price range. This is one of my favorite brands. I cannot afford it. Never found it at the thrift store. <laughs> Made in Italy. You know what? These are probably actually my size too. Okay, look at the price. Manufacturer suggested 1178 um, down to 702 blah blah blah. Nordstrom's now at 249.97. I would get 25% off. That's too much of a treat though. And look, they're long and they would fit me. That would be so fun. Well, I might have to take them in a little bit. Oh my gosh. I'm dying. I cannot buy these for myself, but I'm going to put them in the right spot. You guys remember that name if you ever get lucky enough to see this at the thrift store. I doubt it. It would be more like, I don't know, unless you're in New York or Cali or something, it would be more likely at a consignment shop. Oh, I want this so bad just for fun. 25% off. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. I'm too cheap. I'm a thrifter. But that would be my chance to own something for fun. You'd only get to wear them a few times though, right? And I don't know where I think I'm going. Maybe if I went to one of those Poshmark parties or something <laughs> where the girls all dress up fancy. Okay, but one more time. Just let me touch them for a while and fondle and molest. <laughs> there you guys. and I didn't see any Robert Graham racks now that doesn't mean that Robert Graham's not still good those cool contrast shirts um, it just could be that the buyers did great and there just wasn't anything left over to bring over to Nordstrom rack you know some urban decay no price more urban okay no prices Kendall Jenner more Urban Decay. I like Urban Decay. Empty box. Ah, bummer. Alright, so just so you know, they have this kind of stuff too. Typically, it's a little cheaper though at Ross and TJ Maxx and Home Goods, but they'll have some brands that maybe the other stores don't carry. A little bit more expensive brands. Oh, that's it. I hope you guys had fun on this little recon mission with me. <laughs> I'm going to not cry over the Etro the Etro pants because in theory you would hardly get to wear those that's pretty much a high-end party event or maybe a, um, an art show alright you guys this is $14.99 I'll talk to you later <laughs> bye bye